As you can see in this modern day, we use the boat, science and technology in our daily lives. We get some positive outcomes on using them because we can easily finish our works in both school and home. So, let's join us to discuss the modern science and technology in the Philippines, which most of us not really know. Come, Come on! Science and technology in the Philippines represents the wide, scientific, and technological advances the Philippines has made. The main managing agency responsible for science and technology is the Department of Science and Technology, or DOS. Numerous national scientists have contributed in different fields of science, including Fel del Mundo in the field of pediatrics, Eduardo Kisimbi in the field of plant taxonomy, Gavino Trono in the field of tropical marine ecology, and Maria Orosa in the field of food technology. Let us now discuss life science. What is life science? Well, it is a very broad field. It encompasses numerous specializations. It is commonly defined by sciences that pertain to living organisms like microorganisms, plants, animals, and mostly important, human beings. As what we said a while ago, DOST is the government office that is responsible for the coordination and funding of different researches by Filipino scientists and inventors. First to discuss under the life science is botany and biology. These are the two of the highly sought after research topics in the Philippines. Given its reach, biodiversity, in flora and fauna. Flora is the plant life occurring in a particular region or time, while fauna is all of the animal life of any particular region or time. Next one is biotechnology. Ethanol is an alcohol produced from fermenting carbohydrates in plants. Bioethanol can be produced mainly from three different kinds of raw materials, namely simple sugar, starch, and lignocellulosic biomass. The next one is engineering. It is the field of science that applies both science and math to solve problems. It concerns the use of technology in practical ways that can advance the human condition. Some of the fields of engineering include mechanical, electrical, civil, structural and industrial engineering. Our next one is the agriculture and aquaculture. Agriculture is the field of science wherein it concerns with different techniques of land cultivation, crop, livestock raising, or otherwise farming. Aquaculture is also known as aqua farming, the farming of fish, crustaceans, molluscs. The next one is metal industry. This industry deals with creation and innovation of metallic and steel products. The Metal Industry Research and Development Center, or MIRDC, is a government agency under the DOST that supports the local metals and engineering industry through support services, enhancing the industry competitive advantage. Now, let's talk about food and nutrition. This is the field of science studying the nature of food and the natural changes in them resulting for hunting and processing. It is the science of concern with food and nourishment and the role of nutrients in health. For our next topic, health. One aspect of healthcare is the diagnosis, treatment, and prevention of diseases. The other pertains to provisions for medical care for people in community. In Philippines, healthcare is under the Department of Health or DOH anti-cancer research. Soybean is a very sought crop as its byproducts are used to generate bioethanol and most importantly, it is linked with cancer research. Soybean has been extensively studied due to its 43 amino acid polypeptide called lunacin. Lunacin, a peptide found in soy and some cereal grains which has been the subject of research since 1996 focusing on cancer, cholesterol, and cardiovascular disease and inflammation. It was first discovered by Dr. Alfredo Galvez and Dr. Benito de Lumen, both Filipino doctors when they are enhancing the nutritional properties of soy protein. And the last field of science is forestry that practice planting, managing, and taking care of trees. The country's goal is to have a sustainable forest based industry that can contribute to social economic development and support the disadvantaged sectors of society. 
as the world changes, so do our habits, perspective, and lifestyle. 20 years ago, most of the technology we consider as normal today was just emerging. There was no Google to answer. Every query, no mobile phones to conveniently contact someone, and no appliances that were made with the smart technology. People were still amused by the fact that more and more advanced consumer tech was popping out in the market, like computers and CD-ROM. Contrast that to today, a television set can go up to 100 inches and still be as thin as a pancake. Huge files can fit in a pocket-sized device. Air conditioners are not the energy-hugging devices they once were. And now, we capacity to purify indoor air. Food can be fried without oil. Even as you read this, home technology is evolving and is improving the way we live. Modern living, investing in technology, what we purchase for our home are investments. Quality and functions always come first. We make smart choices every day to live a better life. And this includes with what we buy for our home. Modern technology adapts to our lifestyle and way of thinking. In a fast-paced life, Time is money and multitasking is the only way to fit in, in everything we have to do in day. From how we now cook and clean to how we sleep at night, appliances play a huge role what we need. What we suits for our lifestyle. Will it last a long time? Does it improve the way we live? These are important questions to ask. Something as simple as choosing an air condition for your home matters. It's not just here to change the way. You cool your home, it's also affect the quality of the air that your family brings. Today, choosing appliances is not just about choosing what gets the job done. It's more of the choosing what gets the job done. And it should also be worth the price. Here, some things to consider when you invest in what to buy for your home. Convenience. Does it make everyday living better? Does it save you time and effort from day-to-day -day tasks? Think about how it will be affecting you in the long run. It will really help you do the things that we may do. Technology, being familiar with the latest innovations on home appliances will help you find out if your app purchase is an update. Read about it and research. Do you have technology by your side? Already use your tablet or phone for quick search. Lifestyle. Just like your clothes, the appliances that you choose should fit your lifestyle because these are the things that we can help you get through your day. It should complement your views on health and living well and also afford your extra time to relax and live easy. Value for money quality and function may come at price but the long term benefits make it worth it. It is a matter of finding the right balance between function and economy but always ask yourself first do I really need this? Sustainability. When it comes to choosing quality items, it's a plus to choose items that do less harm to the environment or help conserve energy. Check your option and consider brands that have earth-friendly future. When you make your next home appliance purchase, remember that it's not all about how good the item would look in your living room. Make the smart choice. So now we are finished to discuss the modern science and technology in the Philippines. Thank you for watching. Bye! Bye!